Hello and welcome to this episode 6 recap of The Courtship that I finally got to watch and oh boy this episode was a doozy. So the guys are all discussing and kind of reeling from the kiss between Mr. Judge and Nicole on the dance floor. They know that he's becoming a serious contender. Nicole tells her best friend that Mr. Judge has moved up in the ranks above Danny B. I think Danny B is New York guy which is utterly perplexing to me that he's that high on her ranking but the heart wants what it wants I guess. Nicole says about Mr. Judge that she's on cloud nine and it feels right with him and then oh no or oh yes depending on how you look at it Mr. Chapman sneaks into the castle and brings Nicole some tea and they spend time in bed together they make out and he tells her that he wants to go on adventures with her Nicole is loving it she loves that he breaks the rules and she genuinely has a nice time with him These are two attractive people who are very attracted to each other and the chemistry is there. This was a bit of a scamp move on his part, but it was cute. I almost forgot about his van life situation. The guys get the daily tea and the activity for today is that they'll need to write a poem for Nicole expressing their feelings for her. Unsurprisingly, Cones can write a little, he says. He's feeling confident. Mr. Mumbry has never written a poem because he's never been in love, so he's a bit flustered. The guys all meet Nicole for a party and they're looking good in their costume. Nicole looks amazing and everybody is predictably blown away by her. It turns into quite the party with them feeding her grapes and drinking and dancing. Then it's time for the guys to start reading their poems. Mr. Chapman surprisingly gives a really good one. Apparently he's a songwriter, I think. It's cute and impressive. New York guy, I'm loath to admit, is pretty good too. The rest are fine, a bit cringy, but it's all in good fun. Mr. Mumbry is like the less charming version of a Hugh Grant character in a romance movie. He's very British and awkward. He's a good sport, but he comes across a little green. Nicole says that he's cute and she wants to pinch his cheeks and I don't think that she's that serious about him. Neither is he about her, but it's fine that they both seem to have a good time and we all know what it is. New York guy talks to Mr. Chapman then and asks him where he was that morning because he was noticeably absent. Mr. Chapman admits that he snuck into Nicole's room and New York guy is predictably miffed about this because this is breaking the rules and playing dirty. Mr. Holland and Nicole spend some time together and she says in her testimonial or her confessional that he is a front runner. I thought he might be after their picnic together a few weeks ago, but now I don't know if I believe her because she seems to have a type. Young, kind of mischievous and hot. And unfortunately, Mr. Holland isn't really any of those things. Nicole's best friend then is chatting with the guys and they're asking for some intel on Nicole. Nothing shady, just like what's her favorite food? What's the go-to move to cheer her up when she's having a bad day? The best friend answers soup both times, as in soup. I don't know about Nicole's best friend. I'm sure she's lovely, but she doesn't seem very interested in being there or playing this game. I'm getting a bit of a shady vibe from her, but it could just be that she's really the opposite of Nicole, who's very bubbly and talkative. So I'll give her the benefit of the doubt for now and say that she's shy, even though my spidey senses are on low level alert. Captain Kim takes Nicole for a walk and she tells him that she wants commitment and she wants to start a family. He's all in, he's ready. He gives her a bracelet then as a token of how much he cares about her and he says that when she feels that he isn't the one, she can give the bracelet back to him. He leans forward then and kisses her on the forehead. He says he wants to wait for the right moment for the lips kiss, which I don't know, I liked this. I'm trying to let go of the Regency theme a bit, especially when it comes to their conduct because I know that that ship has long sailed. But this was sweet and Captain Kim kind of looked attractive here. He's still a little bit too intense though, so he's not the one, but it was nice to see him step up in this way and be a little bit romantic. Nicole asks to spend some time with Lincoln, Mr. Chapman, as in she invites him with her away from the group for some alone time, just the two of them. She tells him that she's been thinking about him all day and they talk about wanting more. She says that she feels the most passionate connection with him and that she wants to spend more time with him. So they go off to the castle together at night. Nicole, no. Mr. Hunter and Mr. Judge are right there. She seems smitten with Mr. Chapman though, so I guess we're doing this. They both spend time in bed together and at one point his shirt is off. It's weird, on a scripted TV show, this isn't even a PG scene, but since this is meant to be reality, it it feels a little voyeuristic. Someone who regularly watches these Bachelor type shows, please let me know if these people all eventually sleep with the Bachelor or Bachelorette. Is this how it works in a kind of taking turns way? Or is she going to find her one and slowly phase out the rest? Because out in the real world, sure, people date and they aren't always necessarily sexually exclusive during dating, but in this controlled environment, 
where they all have to spend time together and are competing in front of each other. It's so strange to me. Anyway, the next day, Mr. Chapman comes out and the guys grill him a little bit. Captain Kim is really upset and triggered about what might have happened last night. It would hurt him if Nicole slept with another guy. We never really find out whether they just cuddled all night or if they actually had sex, but the fact that he spent the night at the castle with her really does shift the mood between the guys. Nicole confides in her best friend and she's absolutely gushing about Mr. Chapman and her feelings for him. I'm still getting a vibe from the best friend though. She comments, oh, so we're obsessed with him now. And I guess what was meant to be a joking way, but the tone feels really off. Mr. Judge gets a date with Nicole and she sketches him terribly. Then they go on a little picnic where he opens up about his life. He grew up in a single parent home with five siblings who all had different dads. So he decided to leave home at 14 because his mom eventually fell into drugs. Nicole expresses sorrow for what he had gone through as a child, but she appreciates that he can open up. He's a strong guy, something or other. I'm paraphrasing a bit, but that was the gist of it. Then he pulls a move. Remember, he's a wrestling coach, so he wants to have a little wrestling match. They obviously fall all over each other and they make out. Captain Kim is really strong struggling with the thought of Nicole having sex with other people. Honestly, I think he needs to bow out. But then again, it is kind of relatable because I don't think I could just be a girl suitor and stand by while a bachelor type hooks up with a bunch of people that I have to hang out with. He agreed to go on the show, but I suppose you can only really know how you feel in the situation. So Captain Kim is realizing that this is just not his jam which fair enough. It's eventually time for the farewell dance and Captain Kim says that he wants to be in the farewell dance whether Nicole has chosen him or not. Mr. Mumbry gets called, New York guy, and then the final name for the dance was Captain Kim anyway. Nicole somehow interprets Mr. Mumbry's I feel terrified confession in a positive way, and she tells him that that's what love feels like. So he stays. This is a bizarre choice, but okay, Mr. Mumbry is harmless. This doesn't mean much. Plus, he's not really taking up the space of a better suitor, so fine. Nicole then tells New York guy that she wants to see him try more, that he was a little quiet this week and he didn't try to talk to her. I gotta say, no. The last thing we need is New York guy trying any harder. I think he might have a Captain Kim moment soon where he realizes that he doesn't want to compete. He'd rather just date Nicole or someone. He does say in his confessional that he'll make the effort though. Then the Captain Kim dance happens. He tells Nicole that he can't do this anymore. He heard about last night. He says it's time for him to go. But he says that she should enjoy the rest of her journey and it's a very decent and mature farewell. I think Nicole really wasn't expecting this because she's really upset and she's wondering how Captain Kim found out about what went on with her and Mr. Chapman the other night. She's being a bit silly here, obviously, because of course Mr. Chapman's absence was going to be noticed. And the guys also noticed that she singled out Mr. Chapman. Mr. Chapman is pretty mad. He says that Kim broke Nicole down and made her feel bad. And so he wants to go and find out what Captain Kim said to upset Nicole. To be fair to Captain Kim, he kind of made it clear that this was his issue and not hers and he wished her well. On the one hand, it was nice of Mr. Chapman to ask why Captain Kim might have upset her or what to want to know what he did or what he said. But he just came at Captain Kim guns blazing and it was pretty unnecessary and kind of unhinged. Anyway, that was episode six of The Courtship. This episode felt tense because I guess things are getting serious. So in a way, the fun is a little bit over. It's not about guys just jumping in a lake to impress Nicole anymore. The jealousies are kind of more serious now. So yeah, as for Nicole, I'm glad that she's having her fun and doing things her way, but uh, some of the choices that she makes make me side eye her a little. Anyway, feel free to share your thoughts and thank you for watching.